time to do new headlights. So I ordered these new HIDs off of Amazon. Uh, I'm going to show you how my headlights are right now. So you can see how crappy they are. Pretty crappy. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to install these HIDs. All right, so there it is. I got my GoPro hooked up to my phone and I got the GoPro on my head So let's put that off to the side. Here's the box All right, let's see That's a little instruction booklet Not really too interesting Okay, so we got these cords let's see Okay, so we got Two ballasts. We'll take one at the moment. Got this one here. Take this ballast and goes on this way. Make sure it's on. All right. That looks good. We'll make sure it's sealed so there's no water getting in there. Okay, and then we take. I believe this plug goes right here. Sorry if I'm off angle a bit, I'm trying to keep it angled. Yeah, with the head mount, it's a little interesting to shoot with. Alright, so we got one ballast uh, pretty much hooked up. So it looks like for this one, I can just take that off pop this old headlight out as you can see well, I'm trying to get that in the right uh, angle it's all nasty looking but let's just put that over here for now I mean they're off Amazon I mean they had the best ratings 1500 ratings and they were basically four and five star so let me try and figure out the best way to get this Alright, I re-angled the camera, so that should be a little better. Damn. Uh, don't have a knife on me. Gotta go inside to get one, but... Yeah, it should work. Whoa, careful. Don't want to break the new HIDs. Alright, there's that. Low beam is the HID, and the high beam is the regular halogen. Okay, so it's the next morning, and I was having a bitch getting the headlight in last night. I lubed it up, and I was able to get the locking ring to move, because it was just pretty much stuck. So I actually finally got it in there, and it is secured. It's right like that. And just to make sure, if you do get these for a 94 Jeep Grand Cherokee, uh, it should stick horizontally or sorry vertically and the wires should be on the left side or the driver's side for the driver's side headlight all right so i'm gonna go and work on this light now i gotta move the battery gotta unbolt these gotta figure out what size that is and i'll let you know when i get the right size all right so the right size is a size 10 hopefully you can see that Okay, so once you get this off, mine's all corroded, so I'm just going to spray it with some brake cleaner. Now that the battery is loose, I just got to figure out how to get my wiring for my light bar out of the way without ripping any cords. Alright, so to take off these wires for the battery terminals, it's 8mm, uh, if you can see that. Alright, I got this free, now let's try to lift this out. Alright, that is a pain that you gotta take the battery out to redo the headlights. Okay, yep. Look at that, they used two different headlights, whoever had the car last. Yeah, I got the car, or the Jeep, about a year and two months ago. From eh, a little kind of shady guy in Chicago, but anyways, they used different headlights. So it looks like this locking ring needs to be lubed up too. All right, let's try and turn it. Okay, I got it to at least pivot, so that's good. The lube worked. 
and so that one is turned sideways let's see what this one is straight up and down so okay so we want it just like that and let's see is this even the right one it's not really they bought the wrong headlight it's an HB5 9007 they bought the wrong headlights the one over there on the driver's side was correct the one on passenger side was not correct somebody did not know how to maintain a Jeep or a car in general okay so I got this ballast put that there all right so here's the passenger side HID again halogen for the brights and HIDs for the low beam now it should technically go in on this side I got the headlight in I didn't get that part recorded because it was a bitch to get in but uh, just make sure the ring is to the driver's side and then just kind of wiggle it in until it pops in and I think with the locking ring it's got to be turned a little towards the passenger side but not all the way because uh, for some reason it doesn't line up 100% perfectly so eventually you'll pop it in and then just lock it all the way to the passenger side and of course there's popped out really uh, let me get some lube on here Okay, let's try that again. And they popped out again. Just push them in, I guess. Okay. Hopefully that wire will be fine. Uh, let's see. Put the ballast off to the side for now. Get those wires out of the way. Alright, so I'm just putting the battery back on, making sure it's tightened down. I got all the HIDs installed, or both the HIDs installed. So, almost there. Just want to make sure this is bolted down, got trucks going by. Uh, for now, I'm just going to set these off to the side and make sure I don't close the hood on them. It's finally dark out, so let's see how the HIDs are. Yeah, I'm thinking there's some more oxidation on the left side or the passenger side. This is before the HIDs were installed. And as you can tell, there's really not much visibility at all. And yes, the GoPro doesn't pick up all the visible light. But honestly, while driving, it really is pretty crappy headlights. As you can see, the high beams don't even work. Right off the bat you can see that there's actually a lot more visibility but the high beams aren't exactly high beams they're more of do I want halogens or xenons at this time <laughs> so really I don't have high beams I have basically two colors of headlights which is actually pretty cool so I can basically switch between pure white headlights and yellow headlights it's actually pretty cool And it looks brighter though. Okay. That does it for this HID install video. If you liked it, hit that like button and subscribe. Have a great day and see you next time.